Welcome to a code report video. In this video, we're going to cover the state of array languages at the beginning of 2024. And specifically, we are going to be focusing on Iversonian array languages, aka array languages that are more or less descendants of APL. So that does not include things like Julia or Fortran. So first things first, we are going to hop over to the APL wiki, which has an entry for open source array languages. So it lists a bunch of APLs. You can go check them out here if you would like. The most popular APL though, of course, at least these days is Dialog APL, which we will show in the tryapl.org site in a sec. Note that below though, it also has a bunch of other array languages. So the top ones I consider are BQN, Jelly, Wiwa, and J. And I would say Jelly, it's kind of like an asterisk because it's mostly a code golf language. So really it's BQN, J, and Wiwa. And on our next non-site, this is actually just a slide from my GitHub repo called Array Language Comparisons. You can see that we've got a bunch of languages on here, some array, some non-array, but primarily, like I said, the ones we are focusing on are the ones in the middle green circle, J, Dialog APL, BQN, Wiwa, and of course, Q, so remember I said earlier, Dialog APL is not open source. There's another non-open source array language called Q. Both of these are great languages to try, but if you're looking for an open source one, I would stick with J, BQN, or Wiwa. And there is also Niall. So the next thing we're gonna look at is a comparison of the different open source array languages that are hosted on GitHub. The first one at the top is Ivy. Note this isn't really an array language. This is Rob Pike's array calculator project, which maybe at some point he might upgrade to language status. But when we interviewed him, he says he definitely doesn't consider this a language. After that, in actual first place is Wiwa, which skyrocketed to the top with, I believe, I think 1.2 thousand stars at the moment. And it is the newest array language slash stack oriented language at the moment. After that, we have Jelly, which is just ahead of BQN. It looks like BQN is going to overtake Jelly in the next several months, though. And note that there are technically two different entries for BQN, so it's a little bit hard to compare BQN versus the other languages. BQN has the site that is backing the website, which is kind of the main one that Marshall Lockbaum owns, and then also there's CBQN, which is the actual implementation of BQN, which is owned by Zyma. So one of them is the blue line, the other one is the pink line. I'm sure there's like 95% overlap between the people who have starred the Zyma at CBQN, so it probably wouldn't make a difference by combining these two, but it's worth noting. And then the last two are J, which is the yellow line. Note that J was not created in 2016. It was created in 1990, but I think it was probably added to GitHub roughly eight years ago now. And last but not least, the brown line is the Niall language, which is a keyword version of an array language inspired by APL. And the next thing we're gonna look at is all the different online REPLs that you can use to try out these languages. So the first one is tryapl.org. This was the first site that I ever checked out an array language on. Awesome language to start with. The second one is the J Playground. J, I consider an APL 2.0. If you are looking to learn the genius of all of Iverson's ideas, they exist in J. Next is BQN Pad. Note that there are a couple of other BQN REPLs. There's the one that Marshall has on his site. Then there's also something called the BQN Fun Maker. Fantastic, my favorite array language because of the combinators, highly recommend. And last but not least is Wiwa, the newest array language of all. Doesn't have ambivalence, has a very nice uh, input method. The formatter basically just converts the prefixes of your keywords into symbols. It's got tacit, it's got a stack, fantastic. I can highly recommend any of the languages mentioned, J, APL, Dialog APL that is, BQN, Wiwa, or even Q. So even though Q and Dialog APL are not open source, you can get licenses for free to check those languages out. All right, that's it for this video. As mentioned before, the links to all of these sites that I visited here can be found in the description down below. Let me know in the comment section, what is your favorite array language? Or if you don't have one yet, which one you're thinking about checking out in 2024. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.